Okay guys, I'm back with a beautiful, crispy, juicy maths tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'll be looking at 7.2 using the addition formulae. If you look at my previous video tutorial, 7.1, the addition formulae, I covered uh, the addition formulae for sine, cos and tan, which is up on the board over here. 2 for sine, 2 for cos, 2 for tan. Then I went on to looking at how we can actually apply the addition formulae for sine, cos or tan to questions. In today's video tutorial, I'll be applying the addition formulae for sine, cos or tan to more crispy questions. Before we look at the application of the addition formulae, here are some important angles, okay? Degrees, radians. If I calculate the sine, cos or tan of any of these angles, I will get an exact value, either in fraction form, third form, or a combination of a fraction and a third. Okay, so question number one, given that cot A is equal to 1 over 4 and cot A plus B in brackets is equal to 2, find the value of cot B. First of all, my target, ladies and gents, my target is to find the value of cot B. So I can start off with cot B equal to what I know about cot B is that it will be equal to 1 over tan B. Okay, so what I need to do is find tan B. If I can find tan B, I can then calculate cot B. Right, go back to the question. We know that cot A is equal to 1 over 4. I know that tan A is the reciprocal of cot A, so I can write tan A is equal to the reciprocal of 1 over 4 is just 4. Okay, go back to the question again. You're given cot in bracket A plus B equal to 2. The thing is, I don't know the addition formula for cot. So what I can do is think about how cot is related to um, one of the other tricks. Well, I know that cot is 1 over tan, so cot A plus B in bracket is equivalent to 1 over tan A plus B in bracket equal to 2. Now if I take the reciprocal of both sides, I just get tan A plus B is equal to 1 over tan. Two. Now, I know the addition formula for tan, okay? Tan A plus B is just tan A plus tan B all over 1 minus tan A tan B. So I can write that down. Equal to 1 over 2. Now, this is looking absolutely brilliant. I can actually replace the tan A's with 4 and then rearrange to work out tan B. And if I know tan B, I can then calculate cot B, no problem. So, I would like you all to replace the tan A's with 4 and then rearrange to work out tan B. Once you've finished that, the answer will come up on the board and you can check your work. Okay, so you should all end up with tan B equal minus 7 over 6. Hence, I know what cot B is. It's just 1 over tan B, so 1 over minus 7 over 6 is just minus 6 over 7. And that there is the value of cot B. Let's move on to question number 2. It says using that cos theta plus alpha in bracket is equal to cos theta cos alpha minus sine theta sine alpha. Show that cos 105 degrees is equal to square root 2 minus square root 6 all over 4. Right, now, I need to pick a suitable value of theta and alpha such that theta plus alpha will be 105 degrees. Well, I can select 45 and 60 degrees. So I can write the following. Cos 105 degrees, okay, can be written as cos 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. Now, I can expand this cos to give me cos 60 degrees, okay, cos 45 degrees minus sine 60 degrees, sine 45 degrees. All I now need to do is put this into my calculator and I obtain this particular result, okay? So that there will be equal to square root 2 minus square root 6 all over 4 as required. 
Let's have a look at part B. It says, hence, show that sec 105 degrees is equal to this, stating the value of A and the value of B. Now, come here, guys, come here. Can you see, guys, it says, hence, when the examiner uses the word hence in the exam, you have to go back to the previous part of the question to answer the current part of the question. So, we are going to be doing that somewhere in the working out. First of all, I know that sec 105 degrees is equivalent to 1 over cos 105 degrees. Now, I've calculated cos 105 degrees in part A. It is just equal to this fraction over here. So I'm going to substitute that in. I get 1 over square root 2 minus square root 6 all over 4 which I know is equivalent to 4 over square root 2 minus square root 6. But when I put that into my calculator, the answer that I get is already rationalised. Okay, so I'm going to use my calculator over here. Type in 1 over square root 2 minus square root 6, okay, all over 4. And I get minus square root 6 minus square root 2. That's not the end, guys. We need to write it in this particular form over here. That is, we want to factorise this. So what I need to do, first of all, is take out a factor, and that factor will be minus square root 2. Inside the bracket, I can put 1. That's looking good. Okay. After that, I can put plus square root 3. Okay. So... That there is of this form over here, and I can actually read off A and B. So A will equal 2, and B will equal 3. And that there completes the whole of question 2. If you found this video tutorial useful, please don't forget to smash the subscribe and the like button.